Oh my gosh, why has it got to rain today? Why has it got to rain today? All right, well, today is the day. Well, you've been all been waiting for the Twin Cities Pizza Bracket Challenge. Are you excited? Oh, yeah. Oh, I've I been waiting hungry. for this. I mean, yeah, I mean. But I want to see what these places are like. Well, same. That's what yeah. we said over at Doughboys is we got to figure out yep. who has the best pizza. Yeah. So that's what we're here to do for you today. All I heard was pizza, pizza, yum, yum, pizza. That's kind of what I got from that. So are you hungry? Oh, dude. Well, now you I are. I mean, it's like 11 o'clock starting. All right. Well, uh, can you please explain what we're doing? Because it's just too much information for me to handle. Yeah, you couldn't handle it anyways. So I just figured I'd jump in here. Yeah, sure. Uh, so DDYP here, we're going to bring you the Twin Cities Pizza Bracket Challenge. 16 best pizza places in the Twin Cities. We're pitting them head to head. Watch out. What are we doing first round? We are doing Casetas and Pyology. Ooh, hoo, hoo. That's what I'm looking like for. Two big, to big, big pizza places. So yep. now, tell the people how it works. All right. Ten points per judge. This many. Five for the taste. Three for the looks. Two for the smells. The highest possible point total a pizza can get is 30 points. Let's see what happens. I'm looking forward to it. Are you ready? I'm ready. I hope you don't eat like you did at uh, Andy's. I, I probably <laughs> will. Jeez. All right, everybody. First pizza, biology. I almost thought you were gonna like tip it up, and I was like, no, no. Oh yeah, oh. save the za. First smells. Mm. Smells good. I figured they'd be more though. Ooh. Well, yeah, I don't know. I, I don't All right. Know. I like the pepperoni. All right, score the smell. I'm gonna go one. I'm. What's the point? I'm gonna give it a three. Out of two. Oh, sorry. I'm going to give it a His one. age. His <laughs> Memory. I'm thinking, yeah, I'm not. Wait. All right. What's yours? I'm going to give it a one. Yeah. I'm going to give it a so one. So that's, that's a one. A 1.2. One, a 1.2. One 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 well, it's a two. solid one for me. Can I, can I bite? Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'll give it a five for grease. All right. That's greasy. Mm. Lack of salt, or lack of salt. There's probably not a lack of salt. A <laughs> uh, lack of sauce. I mean, it's not bad. But it it kind of just, it feels like a plain Jane pizza. Mm-hmm. Uh, no, no, no. Not, not my favorite pizza in the world. Sounds like good crunch, though. Uh-huh. Yeah? The crust is good. There's nothing fancy about the, just the... Nothing fancy? Jeez, no, I don't think so. Uh-uh. Well. Mmm. Crush is crunchy. I like that. That's like the most exciting thing about this pizza. So your bar still does one one bite? Yeah, everyone knows the rules, right? Yeah, well, I'm going to do like two pieces because I'm not. All right, cool. I'm a man. Mmm. I almost forgot. The overall looks. I'm, it presents well. Does it, though? I'll give it a one and a half. Look at these little pepperonis. Like, as big as my pointer. I don't know. I'm not, I don't like that. I think the smaller pepperoni makes. It's easier to eat. Yeah, I think because it, it's, it's a small pizza. The flop taste or the flop test? No, I flop was just test? demonstrating the grease dripping. Oh, sure. But I, it is pepperoni. I think. I mean, I eat this pizza. All right. Over taste. What's the score? I'll give it a three. Two. For taste, I'm going to do two and a half. For looks, I got one and a half. One and a half. For looks, same. One and a half. I'm going to do, I kind of like the looks. 2.5. Okay. Well, everyone's entitled to their own opinion. America. <laughs> oh, America. All right. That's a wrap, I think. Yeah. Pyology's grand total, right here. Or up here. Maybe down there. Over here. All around. All right. So the next pizza that we have is Cassettes. Not going to tip it because it's a pretty big pizza, but this is what the box looks like. St. Paul staple right here. So. Ooh. Ooh. I now mean, look at this. When, you look, when you first look at it, it's impressive. Very impressive. Can smell? I smell it? Oh, see, that smells way, way better. 
way good. That's got some healthy smell to it. Yeah. Okay. Let's let's dig into this. This is gonna be a beast. Wait. Smell score. One point five. Ooh. Uh. One point seven. I. I'm going to say 1.7. <laughs> I had my mind made well, up. Well, at least you didn't say 3.7. No. <laughs> wait, this... wait, wait, wait. Looks. What's your score? 1.7? Oh, yeah. Yes. Okay. Yes. Perfect. Now looks. I'm going to... Dude, oh, this is a classic pizza. I'm going to give this like a 2.8. This was made with love. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You can tell. Um, yeah. From looks perspective, out of three points. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to go... I'm going to go with a 2.8. It's classic pizza. Yeah. And I love how much pepperoni they oh, put on this. Yeah. Cheese. I do. Mm, yeah. Meat lovers. And so I'm going to go with a 2.9. Okay. Oh, okay. Perfect. Yeah. All right. I was hoping you'd hurry so I could just dig in here. Yeah. <laughs> Fast is not in his forte. <laughs> you mm. stop it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's pretty good. Lots of cheese. Lots of cheese. Lots of pepperoni. I'm actually... Not the biggest fan of the crust. I would really. agree with you, actually. Too soft? No. Too much. Too thick. It's too, too thick. Too much bread. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. It's too thick, and it's got kind of a... I don't want to say stale, but it's kind of like a really bready taste. You know, I don't know if that makes sense. Oh, mm-hmm. No. You really got to get there's no it. There's no crunch on it. Mm -mm. This is what you feed a football team, because it's thick. There's a lot to it. You know it's going to fill you up. Oh, yeah. One slice is like a meal. All right. Taste? Um, I'll give this one like a 3.2. Not the biggest fan. I am going to go... I love the pepperonis and stuff, but I can't be as generous here. I'm going to actually say a 3. And a lot of that has to do with the crust. No. No. What about you? I do like the homemadeness of the crust. The love, you can taste, you can taste the love. You can, see? You foodies out there would appreciate this because there's a lot of cheese, good size, good amount of pepperoni. If you like a thick crust, you will really like this pizza. Mm -hmm. But taste-wise, I think I'm gonna give it a 3.5. 3.5, huh? All right. All right, guys, you heard it. Pyology versus Cassetta. Cassetta, or uh, Cassetta's final score. We'll put it over here Down this here. time. I like over it over here. here. Yeah. Over oh, there? Yeah. That's over right. here. Right Let's there. mix it up a little bit. Let us know what you think. See you next time. Hey guys, thanks for watching DUIP. We want you to join the DUIP. I totally forgot. Please come back. Come back. YP, didn't you have a special announcement on why Dom and I are going to have to do this on our own or find somebody? No parental supervision? No. You're all on your own. So, How can you handle it? I can handle him. <laughs> well, maybe not. I don't know. Ask someone more responsible. <laughs> so, tell us. You go on this grand adventure. Please, fill us in, because I can't even remember. There's too many continents and states and countries. Or I don't think whatever. there's any states, but... Okay, whatever. Yeah. Explain yourself. So, hey, DDYP is going on the road, specifically me. And we're going... Uh, I'm going to go... Uh, to Africa, uh, two countries, Dubai, or that's not in Africa, Kenya, and memory, uh, remember. Uganda. Yeah, I hope I can remember my way back. Mm -hmm. Kenya and Uganda. Then I'm going to go to Dubai. And then I'm actually going to go to Italy. And, and I'm going to take a few videos eating pizza in Italy. And uh, we'll see just exactly where everything ranks there. Um, but we're, I'm going to do a lot of different things while I'm over there. A lot of fun um, uh, interviews with people, uh, things with culture, too, with other folks. And you, you'll be sharing those. And while I'm there as well, I will also um, meet with folks about the, the TV and, and videos and the things that we do and see where that takes us. So, how are you going to find someone to fill your spot? Uh, there's no one that can fill my spot. Yeah, you're ir irreplaceable. Yeah, I mean. But I've heard these rumors about a guy that you've been telling me about. 
And or we could get a guy off the street. Either way. Yeah, yeah well, could, could do that. That guy. But isn't he kind of off the street already? Well, that guy, he owe me money. We'll oh, find somebody else. We'll find somebody, find somebody else? Okay. Yeah. So what do you think? I don't know. I'm sure I can find somebody. Yeah. 